Hi guys, this video is on open channel flow with varying width. We're going to go through an example on that. So here's our scenario. Uh, in this example, we don't have a change in bed elevation. So this is all uh, z equal to zero, essentially. It's all flat. Uh, so there's no delta z value. Instead, we've got a change in width, which will impact our value for uh, flow per meter. Now, uh, meter width, sorry. Now, if you recall from a previous conceptual video, we said that each specific energy curve was for a specific value of uh, little q. And as we increased our q, uh, curves shifted upwards and to the right. So let's see what happens to our flow rate per meter width. Now, we were given q equals 3 meters cubed per second. And we know that Q equals uh, Q divided by B. In this case, I'm going to find Q1 because I'm expecting Q1 and Q2 to be different because uh, Q depends on the width and our width is varying as was shown in the question. So our first width is 2 meters, 2 meter width, and our second width is 1.5. So we are going to get two different values. That will be 1.5 meters cubed per second per meter. Q2 is going to be Q divided by B2, which I just said was 3 divided by 1.5. So that will be 2 meters cubed per second per meter. So as we go from upstream to downstream, our flow rate per meter width increases. So immediately we know that we've got to deal with two specific energy curves that we... Um, that will be different. Uh, they're not going to be. They're not going to coincide. Um, in this case, we have two different critical points, um, but we've also got two specific energy values that coincide, which we know from uh, Bernoulli's equation. So, E2 equals E1 minus delta Z. I, uh, in the in the question, delta Z was equal to zero, so we know that our E2 is E1. So that's how we know that our our specific energy um, values will coincide, but we'll have two different uh, curves, and this will go, say, here for our E1 equals E2. Now, we don't yet know uh, where our E1 and E2 are sitting, so we don't know that it is there. Um, it could be in between EC1 and EC2, or it could be less than both. So what we need to do is find out first whether we're dealing with subcritical or supercritical flow, 